Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. Let's get together today and look into the future. With technology advancing rapidly, it's not hard to imagine what smartphones will look like in a few years. That's why I'm taking a look at seven smartphones that are likely to be available by 2025. But before I tell you more, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any high-tech news. All aboard for the future, folks. Let's find out right now about seven smartphones that will be released in 2025. Samsung likes to regularly come up with prototype phones that will see the light of day a few years later. This model could have a 6.8 inch screen with a Super A mold panel. Still not very common on smartphones at the moment, this panel offers more realistic colours and exceptional image quality. The edges should disappear completely to make room for curved edges on the top and bottom of the phone. The front sensor should also fit in easily. The internal software will probably have undergone several updates and the interface will be changed. The main menu should be on the left side of the phone and no front lens will be visible. The volume and lock buttons should be much smaller and more discreet. They may even disappear completely. On the back, the four sensors should line up horizontally. This means that the big square block we know today will disappear. The block should also be much thinner and no longer protrude. This will prevent the smartphone from being wobbly when placed flat on a table, for example. We are talking about a 48 megapixel sensor, a 16 megapixel sensor, a 12 megapixel sensor, and a 5 megapixel sensor for color management. In terms of materials, we should expect a very high quality metal glass design. The glossy back gives it a very elegant look. Apple could simply wrap its phone with a screen on both sides. The charging port could also disappear altogether well before 2025. The interface would of course be modernized and could be extremely colorful. The front sensor would disappear under the screen and become invisible. The rear sensors could also be reduced in number. Finally, Apple could also offer a 5000 mega battery. This would mean that the smartphone would be able to last about three days without needing to be charged, a real record for the brand. However, various prototypes are being worked on at Apple's premises. We could also see a sliding smartphone appearing in the next few years, allowing access to two screens. Chinese brand TCL has failed to keep its research into a sliding smartphone prototype secret. Akin to an extending dining table, the smartphone could feature a screen the size of a tablet. To prevent it from being too bulky, the screen would be on rails and could be extended or shortened as needed. The screen would be dazzling and would occupy the entire front panel. The photo sensors would be located on the back of one part of the device. Installed vertically, they would not interfere with the opening and closing of the screen. In fact, TCL is expected to launch a smartphone this year that falls out into three parts. The screen is expected to be much larger, reaching the size of a 10-inch tablet. Nokia is also working on futuristic concepts. This one would be a little smaller than the smartphones we already know. The bottom of the smartphone would be made of a polished titanium cover to accommodate a very classic keyboard. The majority of this shell would be on the bottom of the phone and would end up on the right side of the device. The rest would be a single colored panel to display the smartphone's interface. 
scheduled for 2025, this smartphone has all the assets of the future. At present, the Korean brand is talking about a smartphone equipped with a 6.5-inch Quad HD Super AMOLED screen. With this ideal size, it will be able to pass in all pockets without problem. The Galaxy Zero is expected to feature an infinity screen, which will cover 100% of the front panel. The rear of the smartphone will have a solid coating to accommodate the camera block. To protect the screen from various shocks and potential scratches, a protection called Gorilla Glass 6 should be installed on the front and back of the device. According to several sources, the Galaxy Zero could be the first ever smartphone to feature a buttonless and portless design. The Galaxy Zero is also expected to feature a Snapdragon or Exynos 9830 processor, which could be paired with 10 or 12 gigabytes of RAM. Capable of storing one terabyte, it would become one of the very first smartphones with such a large storage capacity. Of course, it will be able to be charged via a fast charge via a base. With 4,500 mAh, the autonomy should be around 2.5 days. On the photo side, the smartphone would come with four sensors, including a 52 megapixel main sensor, a 16 megapixel ultra wide angle sensor, an 8 megapixel RGB sensor, and a 5 megapixel telephoto sensor. The front sensor is expected to be 23 megapixels. With an uninterrupted design, Samsung could once again be the pioneer in innovation. It could be dressed up with metallic glass and rounded edges. The camera should be vertically aligned and accompanied by the LED flash. The front camera will slide under the panel. Finally, the smartphone could have an ultrasonic fingerprint scanner under the screen. Samsung never stops innovating, and the concepts planned for 2025 are each more impressive than the last. If you're at all interested in smartphone technology, you've probably already seen this prototype at CES 2013. When it was presented to the public, we could see a smartphone with a rollable OLED screen, like a bracelet. It seems that this device has a pure and sober design. The screen will be very thin, but will not be larger than 6.5 inches. The fingerprint scanner will be integrated directly into the screen. As for the processors, we could be talking about an Exynos 10 series combined with 8, 12 or 16 gigabytes of RAM. It will also have nice storage capacity that can go from 128 to 512 gigabytes. On the photo side, we will enjoy a dual camera module offering 23 and 16 megapixels. The 3300 mAh battery will guarantee a full day's autonomy. And finally, the SIM card should disappear completely with this model, leaving the place to what we will call the eSIM. Let's finish with Xiaomi. The Alpha is expected to feature an almost 8-inch screen, which will occupy the entire front of the device. A Super AMOLED panel develops impressive colors and exceptional image quality. The three rear sensors should offer 108 megapixels. This is enough to take beautiful pictures. Extremely powerful, it is equipped with a Snapdragon 855 processor and 12 gigabytes of RAM. Its 4050 mAh battery will last two days without any problem. This smartphone is already available for sale in China with a price of over 2,500 euros. It should reach Europe within five years and will probably be offered at a much more affordable price. And that's it folks, that's it for today. If you like the video, please click on the blue thumb. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to click on the notification bell so you don't miss any of the high-tech news. As for me, I'll see you soon for new high-tech discoveries. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.